Hi everybody, welcome to my workshop. My name is Emily Sprout and today I'm going to teach you how to make a steel pan. Did you know that every pan you've ever seen was made by a person? Today my friend Mary Bell Sprout will show you how it's done. There are a few very important things you need to build a steel pan. One is strong muscles. Can you show me your strong muscles? Another is a sharp mind. Mary Bell Sprout is one smart cookie. Let's all put on our thinking caps. The other thing you must have to build a steel pan are hammers. Big hammers, medium hammers, and teensy tiny baby hammers. Can you get your big muscles, sharp minds, and imaginary hammers ready to help us make this pan? Great, here we go. When you're ready to start building a steel pan, you begin with a barrel with a flat top. Take your very heaviest hammer and get to work, guys. Pretend you have a big drum in front of you and see if you can copy what Mary Bell is doing. Do your big muscles help you swing that gigantic hammer? We're gonna need to hammer this thing thousands and thousands of times. Do you think you're up for it? I learned how to make pans from a very special person named Ellie Minette. He was born in a country called Trinidad and Tobago, which is where steel pans were first made. I'm very thankful that I had such a good teacher. I bet you know some good teachers too. It's important to listen to grown-ups when you're trying new things and using big tools, so I will be watching Mary Bell Sprout very closely as she makes her very first pan. After the drum starts to take the shape of a bowl, it's time to draw in the notes. Every pan has a very special specific pattern, so we use a ruler to make sure we get it just right. Then what do you think we do next? That's right, more hammering. Did you know that steel pans are made from a barrel that could also be used as a container for oil? Back in the olden days, pans were made from smaller containers that almost look like pots and pans. We use another tool called a gauge to measure the curves in the pan. Once everything is just right, it's time to groove it and cut off the top of the barrel. The next step is very exciting. It's time to burn the drum. I have a special blowtorch to cook this pan until it turns a beautiful blue. Just like how you bake cakes in the oven, right? Well, not exactly. It's very hot, so we are super careful. Mary Bell Sprout is wearing special gloves, and we have a fire extinguisher nearby, just in case. Once the pan is cooled off, we're ready to put it in tune. My stroboscope helps me measure the sound. Here, it's important to have good listening ears. Show me your good listening ears. After the notes sound just right, we send the pan off to be made nice and shiny. Then we make sure one last time that the notes sound beautiful, and now it's ready to play. Once you're finished, it's time to do it again, and again, and again. And soon enough, you'll have enough instruments for a full steel orchestra to play music with all your friends. It's been so fun to tell you guys about making steel pans, which is my very favorite thing to do. Thank you so much to Mary Bell Sprout for all her hard work in helping me make these pans. And thanks so much to all my friends that make beautiful music on this instrument I love. I hope all you little sprouts had fun too. Bye.